President. Senator from New Mexico. Madam President, it's truly my honor today to commend the senior senator from New Mexico, my longtime partner in this chamber, my good friend Tom Udall, for his years of service to our great state of New Mexico and to our nation. Before I speak about Tom, I would like to quickly take a moment, too, to recognize the service of Congresswoman Social Torres Small over these last two years. Congresswoman Torres Small actually served for a time in Senator Udall's office in Las Cruces. And for these last two years in the House of Representatives, she has dedicated herself to delivering resources for the people of Southern New Mexico. And I'm so very grateful to have served alongside Xochitl in our congressional delegation. And I am greatly looking forward to seeing how she'll contribute her heart and her talents to New Mexico next. She certainly learned a great deal from our senior senator. Now let me tell you a little bit about our senior senator, Tom Udall. One of the first times I ever spent any serious time with Tom Udall was actually on horseback. Tom was serving at the time as the congressman for Northern New Mexico's third congressional district. And I was leading a group called the Coalition for New Mexico Wilderness. Together we rode into rugged mesas and canyons east of Las Vegas, New Mexico. That's the original Las Vegas that I hoped would soon be designated as the Sabinosa Wilderness. And it was clear right away that, that Tom shared my sense of wonder in the outdoors and wild places and a, and a strong commitment to protect those precious landscapes for future generations. And despite his day job walking the halls of Congress, he was pretty comfortable on that horse of his, much more so than myself. More than a decade later, Tom and I would repeat that horseback ride in Sabinoso alongside President Trump's then Interior Secretary, Ryan Zinke. We were both serving in the Senate by this point, and we had successfully worked together to establish not just the Sabinoso, but also the Ojito Wilderness, Columbine Hondo, the Valles Caldera National Preserve, the Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks National Monument, in Rio Grande del Norte National Monument. And now we were working to convince Secretary Zinke, someone I might describe as a bit of a wilderness skeptic, to sign off on the Bureau of Land Management's acceptance of a generous land donation by the Wilderness Land Trust. This land donation would finally open up public access to the spectacular op opportunities in the Sabinoso which was then actually completely landlocked by private lands, and it would substantially grow the Sabinosa Wilderness Area. A couple of hours of both, in, both of us riding into Canyon Largo alongside Secretary Zinke, alongside local sportsmen and public lands advocates and community elected leaders accomplished what months of testy congressional hearings and office meetings and phone calls here in Washington, D.C. could not. Just days after his visit, Secretary Zinke announced that his reservations over accepting new wilderness were assuaged and that he would approve the donation at the Department of Interior. Thanks to those efforts and that horseback ride, for years to come, all New Mexicans, all Americans, will be able to visit this stunning wilderness that we all own together. This story is but one example from Senator Udall's long career that demonstrates how bringing people together, even those who may have major disagreements, especially about politics, can still help you find common ground and forge a path forward. That's one of the main lessons that I will always take with me about the example that Senator Udall has set as such a principled leader. Tom has devoted his entire career to serving the people of my state. As our state's attorney general, Tom took on major challenges from curbing pervasive drunk driving to domestic violence, to prosecuting unethical and corrupt elected officials and protecting consumers and seniors.
from all manner of predatory scams. Then during his 10 years of service in the U.S. House of Representatives, Tom fought to deliver for northern New Mexico's communities. He stood firmly against the Bush administration's tax cuts for the wealthy. He opposed the misguided invasion of Iraq. And he called on Congress to rein in the civil liberties abuses in the Patriot Act. Tom was first elected to serve our state in the United States Senate in the exact same year that I was first elected to Congress. And it has been a privilege to sit in a front row seat during this time while he led our state's congressional delegation. And I believe that all of us in this body can agree that there are few greater examples than Tom Udall in embodying the best of what it means to be a senator. Over his two terms in this chamber, Tom has shown us all how to act, to act with decency, to act with integrity, how to stay true to your principles, but also how to find the deliberative compromises that have become all too rare in today's Senate. Tom knows that to get anything done, especially in this era of extremely polarized party politics, you need to be able to bring people together, to break bread, to have the patience to work through disagreements, and to focus on results, not politics. That was perhaps best demonstrated in his ability to pass the landmark bipartisan overhaul of the Toxic Substances Control Act, likely one of the greatest environmental law achievements in the last decade. TSCA is just about the most complicated piece of law that you can possibly imagine. However, the powers that it grants to the Environmental Protection Agency are some of the only things protecting us, standing between us and many harmful chemicals. In the last decade, it became increasingly clear that the original law, which had passed back in the 1970s, was simply no longer effective and required significant re reforms. But getting a new law passed had proven to be practically impossible for many senators who had tried for years to get this done. Because of all the major industry interests, the disagreements from various groups, Tosca reform had become one of the many things that conventional wisdom simply said would never get done, especially in today's gridlocked Congress. But Tom did not take no for an answer, and he took on the years-long daunting challenge of convening an incredibly wide range of stakeholders to get the details right and successfully steered a new law all the way to final passage. I believe Tom Udall was successful in this precisely because of the way that he stands for his principles, with moral clarity. At a time when our democracy has felt fragile, Tom has led the way in fighting the corrosive effects of dark money in our politics. He championed voting rights, and he called for rules reforms to make this body, to make the Senate, work for we the people once again. Through his role on the Foreign Relations Committee, Tom has held administrations from both parties accountable for responsibly exercising American power overseas. He's been a steadfast champion, an ally for Indian country, fighting for water access and education, health care, and law enforcement resources for tribal nations. For years, Tom has called on us to finally confront the climate crisis that threatens New Mexico's land and water, and frankly, the future of our country and our planet. And I've been so proud to partner with Tom over these last years to pass landmark protections for the natural resources and public lands that we in New Mexico all treasure. Our children and future generations will see the legacy of Tom's conservation work for years to come. And finally, it goes almost without saying, but I am confident that Tom leaving the Senate will not mean leaving behind his lifetime commitment to service. In fact, far from it. Whatever his next chapter brings, I am certain that Tom will never stop looking for ways to help 
the people of New Mexico. Though I do hope he'll find the time to get outside, to spend time in a remote mountain pass from time to time or on a fast flowing river, but it has truly been the honor of a lifetime to serve alongside Senator Udall for these last 12 years, to fight together to deliver resources and results for New Mexicans. Thank you, Tom, for everything that you have taught me, for everything that you and Jill have done for New Mexicans and for Americans. Julie and I certainly wish you the best in this next chapter in your life, and it has truly been my honor. Thank you. Madam President.